Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. 17 years ago today, you would still be hearing snowblowers going on at this late hour, digging out from 20, 30, 40 inches of snow. This year, it's just cold. We're doing a little shivering tonight. Uh, as the sky is cleared out, um, temperatures will continue to sail down already in the mid teens. Winds, at least, you know, they're not as perky as they were a little earlier down to three. So we're watching another round of wet snow that'll be developing late in the day Thursday, right around the evening rush. So this will be a little problematic. I do anticipate roads to become slick, snow covered, um, and there's probably going to be a, a decent snow uh, out of this uh, for many areas. Uh, and then we kind of transition into localized lake effect snow Friday through the weekend. But this is very typical, like it's acting like it should. It's acting like February. And speaking of Valentine's Day, so last year, 46, it's been as cold as 12, the high back in 2022. It was 25 in 2021, 19 in 2020, and 34 uh, in 2019. So, I mean, it's been worse, right? Uh, let's talk about uh, what we have going on in terms of the alerts. We have a winter storm watch. This is to the north. Uh, and this does include Northern Oneida County and then a wind advisory as winds will really start to ramp up, uh, especially as we get into tomorrow afternoon and then into the evening and overnight. So tonight we are seeing the wind speeds slowly kind of settle down and out the door tomorrow there's not going to be much wind. It should be sunny to start the day, but clouds are going to race in. As the clouds increase, the wind speeds start to ramp up as well. So look at this by the time we get into the evening, especially if you live in the southern hills, that's where we think uh, there could be some gusts approaching uh, 40, 45 miles an hour, higher elevations to the north. Uh, still no slouch here in the valley areas either in the Mohawk Valley. We could still see gusts get, you know, 30, 40 miles an hour. So uh, get ready. The winds ramp up uh, later tomorrow and then through tomorrow night and it will be snowing uh, at that point as well. Numbers tonight dropping into the teens in Rome, uh, 18 right now, Richfield Springs, and it is uh, cold, Old Forge at 13 right now. Uh, not much going on here locally. There still are a few rogue snow flurries way down south, otherwise the sky is mainly clear. The storm system that's approaching us uh, tomorrow is now moving through Minneapolis. You can see the snow breaking out on the northwestern side. This is a fast, potent little area of low pressure that's going to race its way across the area here. So that's why the wind is going to pick up and we should get the snow in here by the evening rush hour. So out the door tomorrow morning, it starts out with a clear sunny sky. It's cold, a couple of weather fronts on here. So a warm front which will lift the air a lot of times you know, we get a burst of snow along warm fronts. That will be the case tomorrow as we try to get some warmer air in here. It's not going to be successful. Notice by the evening right here, that's where we've got this burst of snow. So as we get into the evening, the evening rush, and then through at least the first half of the night, it could be snowing at a fairly good clip. Then we'll see it kind of taper off a little bit. And then winds become northwesterly, and we start to line up lake effect snow showers as we go through the day Friday and into Saturday and really through the weekend uh, as well. All right, so here's how much snow to expect. Notice some areas are going to have several inches. Now don't focus so much on the exact number. This is just kind of giving you an idea uh, of uh, what we're expecting here. So, you know, uh, probably three to six valley locations, but there are going to be some areas, the southern hills might uh, have a little bit more, four to six, four to seven. And then up north as well, look at this, 9, 10 inches, northern Oneida County as you get into the uh, northern parts of Herkimer County and then uh, towards the Tug Hill as well. So that's what I mean. This is going to be a decent snow uh, out of this fast little area low pressure that's going to zip through here real quick by this time tomorrow. Clear to partly cloudy overnight tonight. It's cold with a low of 14. Tomorrow starts out clear, bright and sunny, but cold. Clouds will race in through the course of the day. The wind starts to pick up in the afternoon. Uh, and then wet snow will be developing here uh, by the evening. So again, the evening rush could be impacted. Winds will be ramping up at that point, a high of 36. It's windy all night tomorrow night with gusts to 40, 45, snow showers, 
Friday, snow showers become more localized, some breaks of sunshine, blustery turning colder, 32, and then some light snow, a few lake effect snow showers around over the weekend, some minor additional accumulations, temperatures upper 20s and low 30s. That's typical. We do start to see the weather calm down into President's Day early next week. Uh, we could be in the mid 40s by uh, one week from today. Not bad. So you're talking about a little bit of that snow accumulation, what, between six and eight type inches for the city of Utica? I think probably like three to six here. Okay. Um, you know, a few inches, uh, higher amounts, especially northern Oneida County, Tug Hill, and up into the Adirondacks. Regardless, still well below what our normal rate is. Correct, correct. Uh, but just be mindful, uh, the evening rush tomorrow will be uh, a little slick and you'll go slip sliding away <laughs> like Paul Simon. <laughs> If you're not careful. Yeah. Well, a place that did get a lot of snow yesterday, Long Island, and they actually mm -hmm. finally just filled that seat that was left vacant uh, earlier this year in a special election. We've got more details on that coming up right after the break.